Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm sitting outside here in Norway where I live. It's the 4th of March. So it's starting to get spring. I call March, April and May spring months. And yes, I think it's starting to become spring here now. The ice around here is gone. And um, yes, I saw a butterfly yesterday and a hoverfly. But sadly, there's not much food for them now. No flowers yet. Uh, so um, I think they will have difficulties finding food, sadly. Hopefully, if it gets warm now, there will come some flowers will come up. Um, so, well, at well, spring is on its way. It's very difficult to think about something else than the war in Ukra Ukraine. Now, it's the first thing I think about when I wake up in the morning. And it's so difficult to think about other things. Now I'm sitting here in the sun. Well, the sun is going down now, disappearing. But uh, the sun was here. I have a cup of tea. I'm out in fresh air. A beautiful view over the fjord. And it's very heavy to think about the war in Ukraine. I don't know exactly how to say it in English. Ukraina is what I say in the in Norwegian. Ukraine, I think, is the English way of saying it. It's just horrible. It's war in Europe. There is so much to say about it. It's horrible. I wish it could stop as soon as possible. And uh, Right now I was trying to sit out in the sun, drinking tea, thinking about something else, but, but it's difficult. The world has become very complicated with all this energy use. What I'm thinking now is that I really don't like nuclear power plants. I really don't like them. When it's okay when it's in the right hands, it's run in a safe way, well still I'm against it because it produces nuclear waste. But now with the war it has become clearer that we knew that before it was like a nightmare thought. What if nuclear power plants came into the wrong hands and now it that scare or that scary thought has become more real <sighs> what is even more scary than nuclear power plants are nuclear weapons yeah i have no words i have a thousand words but nuclear weapons does not wound only the enemy atomic weapons destroys for both sides in the war it destroys for everyone atomic weapons uh, yes it's overwhelming to even talk about and then atomic power plants, they are scary too for me. The reason those exist is that people use energy and need energy. So I think that we have to think about what we really need for energy. I live in Norway, so we have Um, what can I say? Water. We have dams and get our electricity from there. There, there is has also come these horrible. I think they're horrible. The windmills. They make a sound. They make an irritating sound. They are big and ugly, 
take up space, kill birds and all that, so windmills are not perfect either, but we have the dams here in Norway, so the water falls, well, when water falls, that gives us the energy and it's... So, but in other countries they don't have mountains and uh, they don't have the possibility to make electricity that way, by water falling. To say it easy um, so but I think that we have to question all of us has to have to question our use of energy I I'm trying to make videos about it that for, for making food heating of homes there's a lot to say about it a lot to think about and all the big shops that are being heated and with light um shops that i think we don't need many of those shops there is a lot to say about that and discuss energy consumption the need for energy because I, those atomic power plants are dangerous there's so much i'm thinking about right now but maybe i'll just stop the video and all I hope for now is peace in Ukraine. That's all I hope for right now.